Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to look at an Ajax request in jQuery that lets you simply load uh, another page into your current page. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating an external file which we're then going to load into a div on our page. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create a button that's going to uh, sort of initiate this loading. So let's go ahead and create an input button. And I'm going to give that a value of load. Now we need to go over to another page in our text editor. So we'll create a new file in our text editor. And I'm going to actually uh, create some content that I want to be displayed from this page. So I'm going to create some strong tags here. This has been loaded in to another page. Okay, so let's go ahead and in the root directory, let's save this out as, um, let's just call it page.html. Okay, so now that we've saved um, page.html, inside index.php, we need to decide where we want to put it when we press this button. So I'm gonna create a div underneath here. And I'm going to give that an ID of content. The button I'm also going to give an ID and I'm just going to call that button. So essentially what we're going to do is press this button and we're going to have this page.html loaded into this div area here. So it's an extremely useful and simple technique in jQuery that allows you to perform what would usually take you probably about 15 lines to write in uh, Ajax alone. So let's go ahead and create uh, an external JavaScript file that's going to handle the clicking of the button and then the loading of the content into this div. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to save this inside my JS directory and I'm going to save this as ajax.js. Okay, so now that I've done that, I need to include ajax.js on my index.php page. So I'm going to re um, cr create another uh, script tag that's going to handle the include of this file. So uh, we've got type is text uh, forward slash JavaScript and the file we need to include is JS forward slash Ajax.js. So now Ajax.js has been included into our page successfully, we can create an event handler for this button. Now the event handler will then place the page.html inside this div. So let's go ahead and create the event handler. We need to use a selector and we are using this selector on this ID of button. So we use a hash and then button and we say dot click. So when the button is clicked, we want to go ahead uh, and uh, carry out this operation to put this page inside the div. So we need to create a function within this and uh, a block as well using curly braces. Now I'm gonna pull this down a couple of lines and inside here will be the one line of code which will include this page.html inside this div. So it's extremely, extremely simple to do. So the first thing we need to do is find out where we want to put this page. Now that's in this div which I've called content. So we can again use the selector hash content um, and now we need to use the load function. So dot load. Now inside of load, we're gonna take one parameter, or we're gonna supply this with one parameter, and that's gonna be the name of the file you want to include. So in this case, it's page.html. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead to our browser and test this. I'm gonna refresh the page, and we have our load button like we created earlier. Now the div is just underneath here, and hopefully when we press this button, we'll have page.html included inside our content div. So we've loaded this page inside of our content div. So let's go ahead and press load. You can see that the text that we created earlier inside of the HTML file with the strong tags, because you can see it's been shown in bold, has been loaded into this div area. Now we've included an HTML file, but this doesn't actually have to just be an HTML extension. Let's go ahead and create a new file and we're going to call this, um, let's go back to the root directory, I'm going to call this page.php. 
Okay, so I'm going to close page.html. Now we want to load the contents of page.php inside of this div. So you may be wondering, can we use PHP code inside of this uh, in order to load it into our div? Well, yes, of course you can. Let's go ahead and just create a simple loop um, that's just going to count from a number upwards. So we'll say count from 1 to 10. So we echo out x. So we've created a simple loop that's going to echo out um, numbers from 1 to 10. And then we are going to uh, display this inside of our content div. So we're using, H uh, we're using PHP code um, inside of this page.php and loading that into content. So let's go ahead and click load. Okay, let me just go back and check if there's anything wrong. Uh, okay, um, I think over here, yeah, we'll use uh, this here. Okay, so so just uh, a bit of the logic behind this because I did make a mistake. Uh, X is starting at one. Uh, the condition is then that X, while X is uh, less than or equal to 10, uh, we uh, increment X. So uh, the page did successfully load, but the content didn't show because I had the logic mixed up. Let's go ahead and press load, and you can see that we've now loaded numbers 1 to 10. So we've now successfully included a PHP file uh, inside, of, um, our, uh, inside of our content div. Now you may be thinking, can I go ahead and include image files inside of uh, my content div? For example, if I just open up my uh, directory that I have here, and let's look at all the files, I've got an image called tartan.jpg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and attempt to load this into uh, my div directly. So we uh, load tartan.jpg into our content area. Now this would be extremely useful if you wanted to load a file into a content area. However, the problem with this is it's going to load the file contents as opposed to interpret it as an image. What we would need to actually do is um, change the headers on the document for this image to be displayed correctly. Let's go ahead and see what happens now. You'll see that uh, a load of rubbish will eventually pop up. Uh, this is just obviously the file contents for the image as opposed to the image directly. So using this load method we can't directly load an image in however if you were to include an image on an HTML page uh, you could then load that in. So we've looked at including um, a basic HTML file and then a uh, PHP file with some PHP code in it. Uh, obviously you can use other file extensions as long as the page can be interpreted by your uh, your server um, you can actually load um, any page in you like uh, with whatever web development language you choose to write in. So that's essentially the load function which takes uh, advantage of Ajax calls that would usually just include a page inside and like I said before we've uh, used three lines here uh, with, uh, with um, Ajax we would probably use about 15 to 20 lines.